protective gear for a Richmond PD canine is on its way. A nonprofit out of Michigan is donating the equipment. This is for a Belgian Malinois named Ace. WKYT photojournalist Darnell Crenshaw shows us why Ace is an important part of the police department and why he needs body armor. This is Ace, a young, energetic canine that seems ready to work. And he's got a pretty good on off switch. Yeah. He's not too bad. Chill. This is his handler, Master Patrolman Kevin Sharp. On Monday, Officer Sharp put Ace to work on a traffic stop, and according to police, this canine made a hit. Richmond PD say they found about two grams of suspected fentanyl, drug paraphernalia, handguns, and $6,000 in a car. Police Chief Rodney Richardson says without these drug sniffing dogs, it makes our job more difficult and it could put more officers at risk. Officer Sharp has a protective vest, but Ace does not. But one is on the way. The vest that we're going to have donated uh, by Vested uh, Canines is a stab proof and bulletproof vest, so it will protect Ace if he's out doing work. Richmond police applied for a grant and were awarded a vest for the Belgian Malinois. It's valued at $1,800. This is through the nonprofit Vested Interest in Canines. Its website says it has donated more than 5,000 vests to canines in all 50 states. The chief says the likelihood of a canine being injured on the job is the same as any officer. And those canines are used in an emergency type situation. So, you know, there's a probability or likability that they could be stabbed or shot just like any other police officer on the street. Ace has been working for a month and a half now. His new vest will be ready for use in eight to 10 months. Yeah, it's unfortunate, but, you know, sometimes those pieces of uh, equipment take time to get in. So we'll just have to make do with it. Until then, Ace will sniff out crime and try to stay safe while doing so. And Chief Richardson says in the future, the department will add another canine, giving them a total of three.